Running of the New Year's gift final along with the free for all event which features some Inter Dominion runners, highlight the eight event card at Clubman Angle on Saturday night. Looking for specials on the card, I'm going to kick off in the second race. Well, there's been a lot of talk about the cricket pitches of late, but I think Roy Roots Jr. will be preparing a perfect pitch, and pitch perfect looks the one to beat in race two on the card. Coming off a very strong Inter Dominion campaign, finished third. Not been all that far by Jellyby Sylvester in the Inter Dominion Constellation at Penrith on Monday night. Tried with his smart stable mate, the Black Prince. The two of them went to the line very strongly over the final stages. So they just topped them off nicely for their respective assignments at Club and Angle on Saturday night. But I do think pitch perfect, down in great, perfectly drawn. Looks to start the program off in a very good note as far as the early races are concerned. And moving over to race five on the card, the free four. This features the return to racing here at Club and Angle of Spirit of St. Louis. Disappointing in his past two starts. That was in the final heat of the Inter Dominion and in the grand final. We'll see the real Spirit of St. Louis here on Saturday night. And moving over to race six and Tasty Delight was brave in scoring here last Saturday, not only to lose the race in the stewards room by a very narrow margin. I thought his out effort was outstanding. Taste of light. First up since September 2021. A great training performance by Brian Porte, but hopefully he'll get some consolation in taking out the final of the New Year's gift. Fitter for that run last week. Also ideally drawn in gate two. Tasty Delight, this five-year-old, will be the one to beat. Moving over to race seven, the fourth of the specials is Punt Away, prepared by Jack Trainer, who will also take the reins on set that night. This mare is racing in outstanding form. She's won four of her past five. I think she'll find the lead and the winning post. And we've got the big program at racing on Saturday night at Shepparton with the Shepparton Gold Cup, the feature event, the first of the specials in race four here with Dalvey Robin for the very much informed Craig Turnbull. Stoven going great guns, very consistent and due to greet the judge. Then moving over to race five on the card, Outlaw Man is racing in great heart for Andy and Kate Gath. I think he'll stretch his winning sequence to four with the nice draw. Then moving over to the sixth event, District Attorney, up and coming type, 14 starts, six wins, six placings as runner up and throw in a third. Nicely drawn, fitter for recent racing. Been very impressive for like District Attorney. Well, in the Shepherd and Gold Cup, nicely drawn, the Inter Dominion winner for Jason Grimson and Cam Hart in I Cast No Shadow. This winning combination will add another trophy to the cabinet. A big watch on a newcomer to the David Aiken stable. Former Kiwi, very talented in Cranbourne, has tried exceptionally well at Shepparton. I think Cranbourne, you can throw certainly into the exactors or other forms of exotic betting, but no doubt from gate two, I cast no shadow, which has been casting a massive shadow of late over. His rival will be the one to beat. So my thoughts for both Clubman Angle and Shepparton on Saturday night. Until next time around, good punting.